Our Olympian heaters are designed and built to provide years of comfortable radiant heat and economical LP gas consumption. Not only are our heaters efficient, but they are safe as well. Because of the integrated double platinum catalytic heating system, no harmful amounts of waste gases are produced. Most heaters are equipped with low quality materials which obstruct oxygen flow. This can lead to gas being released without burning, resulting in serious health hazards. The Olympian catalytic heating element features a low density, spongy texture which allows for perfect transport of the oxygen needed for combustion. The catalytic heating element is evenly impregnated with platinum. These added safety features ensure proper elimination of the mix of dangerous gas emissions. Olympian heaters produce radiant heat as a result of the catalytic combustion process. Like the sun, Olympian heaters radiate heat directly to people, floors, walls, and other objects without heating the air first, so warmth is felt immediately. Radiant heat is absorbed by objects and then emitted into the air and heat the surrounding area. Therefore, your Olympian heater should be oriented to direct its warming rays toward the space to be heated, much like a floodlight is positioned to illuminate a desired area. If installing in the interior of your RV or boat's cabin, it is recommended to have a certified technician handle the installation. This will ensure the installation meets local codes. Please read all directions and warnings in your instruction manual. Keep it in a safe place for future reference. When choosing a location to install, be sure that the heater is located out of traffic and away from furniture and draperies. To assure complete combustion, it is necessary for the room to have an adequate fresh air supply. Turn heat control knob to start off position. Make sure gas supply is turned on and gas is available at the heater. Depress control knob firmly for 10 seconds. This will allow gas to flow into the gas lines, removing any air. You should hear gas flowing to the heater pad. While continuing to hold the control knob in, press piezo sparker button one or more times until gas flame spreader is lit. The flame spreader should now be on. If not, repeat pressing piezo sparker button until flame spreader is lit. After initial ignition occurs, keep control knob depressed for 45 to 60 seconds maximum. Release the control knob, push knob in slightly, and immediately turn it to the high heat setting. The initial small blue flames should become extinguished and the catalytic combustion process is now taking place. If catalytic pad ignition fails to start up, wait 5 minutes and try again. Allow the heater to operate on high for 10 minutes to assure even heating of the catalyst pad. You may now set to low or medium. To turn the heater off, turn the control knob to the off position. It is recommended that the heater be kept covered at all times when not in use. Custom-made dust covers are available from the factory or your local dealer.